We are here in the city of Philadelphia, a city that my father sent me to, to be a minister, to replace a minister that was here in 1958. Our first child, Layla, was born here in Philadelphia. She came back with us for this convention for two reasons. Naturally, she's a Muslim, she's with me, with you Muslims. She came back to attend the convention. But she came also to visit the city of her birth, Philadelphia. When my father sent me here, he said, son, I'm sending you to Philadelphia. He said, the city of brotherly love, number 12. Now, when he said number 12, I was lost. I understood everything until he said number 12. I know 12, 10, 11, 12, 13, I know 12, but it was just a number. <laughs> and it took me years of maturing as a student of scripture to really register fully what he was saying to me when he said number 12. 12 represents the universe, the whole world. 12 represents the universe, the whole world. We have 12 months in the year, 12 signs in the wheel, the heavenly wheel. Twelve disciples. Twelve represents the universe. He was saying to me, son, I'm sending you where your soul wants to go. Because my soul wanted to be with humanity. And my father knew it perhaps before I did. That I wasn't satisfied to just to be calling myself a black man. I wanted to be a human man. I wanted to be a man with all men. I wanted to be a man after the likeness of my father, Adam, the first man. Not in his fall, but in his bright, shining form. I wanted to be a man like that. I wanted to be a man with all men so I wouldn't have to worry in my soul about what's going to happen to all of us. Because I know if some of us want to dominate others, then all of us have cause to worry. And I had no desire to dominate anybody. God has always blessed me to have a peaceful heart, a peaceful soul, to want to be just, just by everybody, fair by everybody, and never wanting to do any wrong. I thank Allah for making me like that and keeping me like that. Now, 